kindly like share and please subscribe our channel we need your support so please subscribe our channel and if you have any questions regarding any medicine do mail us we will respond you so please it is used to treat certain stomach and esophagus problems it works by decreasing the amount of acid your stomach makes it relieves symptoms such as heartburn difficulty swallowing and persistent gum this medication helps heal acid damage to the stomach and esophagus helps prevent ulcers and may help prevent cancer of the esophagus it belongs to a class of drugs known as proton pump inhibitors how to use follow all direction on the product package if your doctor has prescribed this medication take it as directed if you are uncertain about any of the information consult your doctor or pharmacist take this medication by mouth as directed by your doctor usually once daily the dose is based on your medical condition and response to treatment do not crush or chew the capsule swallow this medication whole if you have trouble swallowing this medication whole you may open the capsule and sprinkle the contents onto one tablespoon of apple sauce if needed and acid may be taken along with this medication if you are also taking sulfate take pentaprazole at least 30 minutes before sulfate use this medication regularly to get the most benefit from it to help you remember take it at the same time each day continue to take the, this medication for the prescribed length of treatment if you are feeling better tell your doctor if your condition does not improve or if it is worsening the risk of side effects goes up over time side effects diarrhea and headache if any of these side effects persist or worsen tell your doctor or pharmacist promptly If your doctor has directed you to use this medication, remember that he or she has said that the benefit to you is greater than the risk of side effects. Many people using this medication do not have serious side effects. Tell your doctor right away if you have any serious side effect including symptom of low magnesium blood level and sign of lupus. This medication may really cause a severe intestinal condition due to a type of bacteria. Do not use anti-diarrhea or oral medication. If you have any of the following symptoms because this product may make them worse. Tell your doctor right away if you develop persistent diarrhea, abdominal or stomach pain, cramping, fever, blood or mucus in your stool. Really proton pump inhibitors have caused vitamin B12 deficiency the risk is increased if they are taken every day for a long time a very serious allergic reaction to this drug is rare however get medical help right away if you notice any symptom of a serious allergic reaction including rash itching swelling severe dizziness trouble breathing and sign of kidney problems this is not a complete list of possible side effects if you notice other effect not listed above contact your doctor or pharmacist precautions before taking pentaprazole tell your doctor or pharmacist if you are allergic to it or if you have any other allergies this product may contain some inactive ingredients which can cause allergic reaction or other problems your pharmacist for more details go using this medication tell your doctor or pharmacist your medical history especially liver disease and lupus some symptoms may actually be sign of a more serious condition get medical help right away if you have heartburn with light headedness sweating dizziness chest jaw arm or shoulder pain and an extreme weight loss proton pump inhibitors may increase your risk for bone fractures especially with longer use and in older adults talk with your doctor or pharmacist about ways to prevent bone loss or fracture 
such as by taking calcium and vitamin D supplements. Before having surgery, a lot of problem is about all the products you use, including prescription, non-prescription and herbal products. During pregnancy, this medication should be used only when clearly needed. Discuss the risk and benefit with your doctor. It is unknown if this drug passes into your breast. Consult your doctor before breastfeeding.